Okay, you like music? Come on, man. You're gonna sit on an, 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 we have to shoot a video. Come sit on, mom. Are you gonna sit on Blanky? We have to shoot a video. Yeah, the whole YouTube world's watching. You don't want, you don't care about it. Come on. You're not into social media. Come on, mom. Mitty doesn't use social media. Hi, guys. Steve and Angela here. Just want to say hi. It has been one year, mm -hmm. almost to the, to, the, to the month. Yep. Has been one year to the month. One year to the month. So we kind of took a hiatus um, from YouTube, not from watching YouTube, yeah. but from putting up YouTube videos. <laughs> and as you can see by the by the thumbnail of this video, it's about you know running hard for a certain period of time, rewarding yourself for the success you achieved during that period of time, <clears throat> then resetting. And running again, and and that's kind of what we wanted to say today is that it's been one year, and uh, and the bottom tagline of the video it says this is our happiness. <clears throat> you know we worked really really hard. We were in California three years ago, but, yep. you know six years ago we we um, I think we launched the YouTube channel or whatever. We did our first video. Had no idea, no intention really of building a YouTube channel. It was just about getting out to our agents about why we were living the previous IMO. That's how this whole thing started. <clears throat> and then from there, it kind of didn't go viral, but it, it got a lot, of, it, a lot of traction, a lot of people's attention. And we realized that there's a lot of people out there that are searching the in industry and wanting to know things about the industry before they joined, or they had already joined and were not having success. And they were reaching out to us. And that's kind of how this whole thing snowballed. We never really made a commitment to build a YouTube channel. That really wasn't our goal. So three years ago, we packed it all in. We moved to, to Florida, where we're living now, in an area called Beverly Hills, Florida, not California. <laughs> Wasn't that even a success? <laughs> uh, but again, it was part of it. It was it was the whole idea was of moving to Florida was a dream come true. We had been we had been vacationing here every year, yeah. and. Um, uh, I'm just checking my phone to make sure we didn't lose the recording. Um, we've been vacationing every year, and we had made a commitment to, you know, that we're going to go back home, we're going to work hard, and we're going to find a home, we're going to move from California to Florida. Because we love the beaches. It's where I grew up. Angela's a water person, so she likes the water, she likes the beaches, and so we made a decision. And we, a lot of our uh, insurance conferences were being held down here, yeah. too. So um, we made a commitment to buy a property. We had no idea how we are going to do that. Um, we wanted to be close to the beach. We wanted to have a home with a pool. There's a lot of things that we wanted to have. So we went back to work and continued to, to uh, you know, focus on personal production, but also on the YouTube and talking to agents that we felt like, like were a fit for our team, bringing those people on. Most of them, I would say 99% of them, were uh, unlicensed or licensed and struggling with another IMO. We brought them over here. We put them into our Agent Success Academy, and we worked with them before, during, and after every single sale until they were fully trained. And that produced a couple uh, of elite producers, um, multiple six-figure producers, as well as Angela and myself. And, and a lot of people are just doing the business part-time. I mean, not everybody's in this thing to, to, to hit a home run and do it and make three, four hundred thousand dollars a year. Uh, and then, of course, we went through COVID. Went through COVID. We were already shifting to virtual before COVID. We felt like, as my mentor said, that's the direction the industry was moving, even before COVID. And so we were ready for it. And we had we did one year of conference calls um, every single day with two to 400 people on them. All, everybody just trying to carve out how to do this business virtually. And that we learned a lot from that. And um, and so everybody, you know, there's a lot of IMOs out there. That, oh, I'm, virtual doesn't work. It'll never work. We're not doing virtual. We're doing face-to-face. -face, blah, blah, blah. You know, all that stuff. And so we really, I believe, were, were the first into virtual and doing it successfully, even though everybody else claims that they, you know, that they did it. Uh, we know the facts. We were there. And out of that, we survived COVID. We made that move three years ago to Florida. Yeah, we signed the escrow papers in our house in California and with our mask on. Yep. So it was socially just, distanced. Socially distanced, yeah. Uh, so, uh, and then, so anyway, the point is this video is, is, that, is that a year ago, we decided to live a little bit part of that uh, you know that, that reward and our you know that, our form of happy you ever watch the movie pursuit of happiness where he walks out of the building and you just get the job with uh what, what, what was the stock company i, uh, I don't remember um i can't remember he put in the comments if you remember but he, he has his arms up and he's walking this crowd no one had any clue what he's celebrating 
But that was, he, he said, this is what happiness looks like. This is my happiness. Because yep. he accomplished a goal that he, that he set out to achieve. Well, a year ago, we decided to do that. We decided to put down the YouTube. We were a little bit um, undecided about what direction we wanted to go to with the YouTube channel. I was always conflicted with, uh, you know, I don't want to want another YouTube channel teaching people how to sell life insurance. And, you know, certainly we do that. We do it every single day with our agents. And we can do that and we'll do that with, with this channel. But we really thought that, you know, it's not what the industry is. It's what it does for you as an individual. So we wanted to kind of shift the channel to more of a, uh, you know, living the li living the life of it as an insurance agent, a mortgage station, final expense, virtual, <clears throat> excuse me, or face to face insurance agent, and you know, show you both sides of it. You know how to do it successfully, what it takes to get started, what you should be looking out for, what the recruiters are not telling you that you should know before you sign with the IMO. Those kind of things will always be part of the channel. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Angel's got a lot of things to share on what she does. She's the, the uh, head underwriter for our agency. She helps the product selection with our agents on every single case until they're properly trained, even beyond that when it's a complicated case. So she's got a lot of nuggets that she can share with you and will, and not, and also just how to do the, the appointment in general. But my passion has always been what does the industry give us as individuals, as agents? You know, it gives us three sources of income. You know, high commissions, passive, residual, those kind of things. Um, and so I want you to see part of that. So that was the idea of us taking that year off. Was we, we had hit a goal. We never realized, never imagined we could leave, leave California. The expense was nearly $50,000 just to, just to make the move. Yep. Buy a home with a pool seven miles from the beach. And so the last year, we've kind of taken time off to support our agents every single day as always. Keep up our personal production because we firmly believe in leading from the front, which means you've got to set the example. You can't just be recruiting people and living off their income. Basically, you know, grabbing, you know, uh, piggybacking. Is that what they mean when you put something on your back? Yeah. You know, piggybacking off their, off their income. You know, you have to leave in the front. Give, give value. And that value is training and teaching how to, how to succeed. And if you do that, you deserve an override. You know, it's not coming off of their income. It's coming from the carriers because you you train someone to be a good, consistent, uh, ethical producer. So, um, so we those two things remain: personal production, focusing our rate on our agents. Outside of that, we were one hundred percent involved in you know um, working on our home. So it's got you know it's got over you know nearly a couple acres there and. And, you know, we never realized how much. I'm on a 10 acres. You imagine I what an acre acres. and a half is killing us. <laughs> you know, painting and just making the home ours. And then also just, you know, discovering what Florida has to offer, taking little trips to, to, to side trips. So our spare time was in that area, taking side trips to little, little beach destinations all around Florida. And now it's a year later. So, um, you know, we really wanted to reset the channel. We feel like right now there's a lot of people out there to look at this industry again. There's a lot of people hurting because of high inflation, needing a side hustle, maybe not wanting to quit their nine to five, but it would be a very good part-time agent making two to 5,000 bucks a week. You know, we have looked at, like everybody, we we do our research and we continue to look at the things that you look at. You know, we look at, okay, if, you, if you're trying to supplement your income, what are the options for doing that? What are the options for supplementing your nine to five or your traditional job or your existing you know, sales job or sales position, you know, and everything that we look at, we keep coming back to the insurance industry just provides potential and income and longevity that I don't think you can find in anything else. And it also provides you the opportunity that if you're so looking for that, a, a way to transition careers, you know, um, and so I think a lot of what we talk about uh, with the channel going forward will also be about how to build this business, um, you know, structured the right way. Uh, you know, if you're the kind of person that is earning zero income right now and needs to make, you know, $10,000 next week or next month, this may be a difficult, you know, a, a difficult industry for you. But if you have the right expectations and the right training and the right mindset 
and you couple that with being able to get the bigger picture and look down the road, um, you can have an incredible an incredible lifestyle here. Well, you just said three things that the whole video should. I mean, that's a video in itself. Training, mindset, expectations. Those are the three areas that most agents don't, they don't have a right, and that's right. the reason why they fail. They get in here, they want they want to get free leads. And look, guys, there's free leads out there. In, in, in most cases, it's with, you know, uh, if you get free leads, you are, you're not, you're, you're an employee, right? You have to answer somebody nine to five. Not in all cases, but in some cases. And, you know, you can certainly make a living with free leads. But like Angela says, you're going to need a lot of leads. Right. You know, and you know there's they've been passed around a lot the industry, right, or whatever. But if they're free, again, what do you get for free in this world? Not much. So if you want to work free leads, understand you're going to need a lot of them. But more than just a lot of leads, if you, if you have to work a lot of leads, you need what? A lot of time. And that's where the expectations right. you, you, you get, get, uh, get lost. Is they get in here and they think, that, well, I'm going to work free leads. I'm going to work a couple hours a week, make five grand. It ain't going to happen. It doesn't work that way. It might it lightning ah. eye strike. It might happen once in a while, but in large scale, it will, it will not happen. Um, so, many sees a bird. Many sees but, a bird. you know, that's like many things in life. We uh, we wanted ah. to add some. Yeah. Yeah. Mini girl. It's okay. It's just a bird. It's all right. Come here. You know, we looked at, um, we've been wanting to add some chairs, right? A particular kind of chair to our yard. And so we had looked at all kinds of different things, and they were getting pretty pricey. I mean, they were getting up there $700 a chair, $1,000 a chair. Hollywood. Hollywood. Not Hollywood. The last, Hollywood. The last for generations of yeah, lives. Yeah, I'm not the lived generation. And so, uh, as is my tendency sometimes, I thought, well, let's see if we could do this on the cheap. Let's see, let's see what a cheap version of this chair would look like. And so, I was online, I was on, I was on Google, I was on you know, the big box stores, I was on uh, Amazon, and I mean, I had found chairs for down as like $25, and I thought, maybe I should read the reviews, right? Maybe I should do a little bit more investigating as to why this chair is so much cheaper, and, you know, I read reviews of, you know, I weigh 110 pounds, I sat down on the chair, and all the slats broke. Yeah. Uh, you know, we sat, we put the tar chairs together, and the arms fell off. Uh, you know, they were, they were paper thin. They were, you know, not what we expected. They didn't hold up. They didn't last a season. And so when we talk about leads, I know that it's difficult for sometimes for you to have that understanding, but we'll teach you about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the pitfalls and we'll show you where to get that information so that you know what you're getting when you see things like free leads or cheap leads or, you know, discounted leads, mm -hmm. what you really need to be looking for. Because that's a really important component to this business. But that's just one thing that we want to focus on. This and that's show. before the sale. We have right. we have a whole training. It's called Agent Success Academy, Pathway to uh, Getting Pathway to Success. And and we and we go work step by step by step by step on what you know on training you on the process of selling face to face or virtual. And it's different, right? Um, and so, and then beyond that, once you get started, we are, we are, we engage with our agents before getting you ready for the sale, product selection, uh, you know, scripts in, in the home or face to face that you want to use. And then if, you know, work with Angela on, you know, once you get in the, in the home, find out what the medical conditions are, what, what their budget is, what their health conditions are, and then matching that with the right product right. that's in the home or virtually either one. And then after the sale, getting that application process and in, 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 in force, right? So many agents send the application to the, to the, to the, to the carrier and think that's it. Uh, you know, it'll kick out the other I'm side. Done. It's not the case. Very rarely does that happen. So before, during, after the sale. So all that stuff is provided for you, um, you know, once you become an agent of ours. And so I'm not, this is not a video about becoming our agent. We're just uh, talking about that. Hey, Minnie. Minnie, girl. What are you doing over there? Come on. The, come lizard, on. the lizard will come back. Exactly, come the on. lizards. So uh, anyway, well, I don't want to make the video real, real long, yeah. but we wanted to just kind of share with you what was what the situation is. And I've got a ton of content that we're going to be putting out. You may see me hitting golf balls to my. Like, we've got three golf uh, holes out here in our backyard. Um, just just living the life of an insurance agent. Yeah. You know, Angela and I myself, and this is not to be egotistical or bragging at all, but people put numbers on success. So we we managed to make multiple six figures, not on overrides, not on our agency, 
but just as personal producers, we get it down to where we work three days a week, basically. Yep. Uh, and we're do we're one hundred percent virtual. Yep. So we work Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and we're off Friday to Mondays. Um, unless somebody can't meet during those days, and we'll do an infrequent appointment. I do have one Saturday morning. Yep. Um, that, that's very rare. Those are our days. So we work three, we play for four. Um, and so if you if that's something that appeals to you, then yeah, we're interviewing. We're always looking for good people that fit our fit our our agency and our mission and get along with our people. So, uh, but we wanted to kind of just just tell you, hey, this is this is uh, uh, again not only what you can, what the business is. We're going to get in deep into that. You know, how do you get contracted? How do you get your license? You know, uh, what license do you need? Those kind of things. Um, you know, how, you know, what do you, what you, should, you should be looking for? Not just in the IMO. That's the number one question I get in. Just what, what's the best IMO? Look, IMOs are, are there for one reason. They're there to provide resources, technology, some training, right? But mostly carriers and compensation. They're not in position to train you day by day, case by case, you know, on how to succeed in the business. The person you sign up with, that's their responsibility. And if they are not, if they're brand new to the business, they can't train you because they don't know anything. And then what happens is, what, is who, who, who's above them, is it becomes important. Because that's the person, that they're, and they may not want to train you. So it's not just who, who, what the best IMO is. It's, it's who are you partnering with. So that sign-up process is critical. We'll get into that too. So uh, and anyway. building your own and learning how to build, I think you say all of that to say this. We want this channel to be something where you can take information and make an informed decision about whether or not this is a good industry for you. Um, make an informed decision about how to get started. Yeah. And make the right choices all along the way in case you don't have that support so that you don't feel like this is, uh, like you're, you're chasing your own tail. And it's very easy, if, like Steve mentioned, if you don't have that structure of support, it can be really easy to feel like a, you know, a kite without a string that you're not really tethered to um, to something. And all of that aside, we want you to be successful in this business because we think it's a great industry. and It's um, the best industry on the planet. I don't know where else you can go and make, make multiple six figures, even seven figures, for the cost of an insurance license. Less than a thousand bucks. And have control of, you know, we work hard. And, and in this last year, one of the things that we'll talk about is the fact that we have worked hard. There have been a lot of dynamic changes in the world, in the economy, in your state, in your local government, in your local, you know, economies. And we have worked hard. Um, but every time we sit back, like I said before, you sit back and you realize what this business affords you in terms of having control of your time or time freedom and having the ability to increase your income and adjust where you need to. And 100% you like that. 100% Angel hates it. <laughs> it's the most uh, overused, uh, overused word right on the planet. Oh, A thousand goodness. percent. A hundred percent. A thousand percent. That's so true. What fires me about this industry is you can grab some leads. You can get in your RV, get in an airplane, get in your car, whatever, go thousands of miles from your house, sit in a motel with a telephone, your cell phone, and a stack of leads, and run leads in, in anywhere, it's virtually anywhere in the United States. And even if you want to get local leads, you can you go door to you can go to their home and, and do face to face, and, and, and make five thousand bucks a week. Where else are you going to do that? Likewise, you know, if you're a uh a stay-at-home parent or you have had you work part-time jobs or you maybe you need the flexibility of you know caring for kids you know if you're a stay-at-home mom or dad this is the kind of business where you can drop the kids off at school at you know god i don't know what time you drop kids off at school seven or eight o'clock in the morning too early and too early we, we don't we don't, we don't do have the drop off yeah. we don't do the drop off we don't you could drop your kids off at school. Yeah, we, don't, we rarely do any appointments. You have one this morning at 9.30, but we rarely do appointments for noon. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you could drop the kids off at school and build a serious business and career and be ready to, to drop it and go pick the kids up from school when they get off in the afternoon and be home with them, working in your home, building your own business, Um and not have to worry about who's going to take care of the kids, who's going to watch the kids, how am I going to juggle all of this schedule? Um, it, it gives you it, that to me. If I were a, if I were a stay-at-home mom or a single mom, 
um, this would be the kind of an industry that I would look for. A hundred percent. There's no question about that. And, and, and again, that's the point. Is you? This is a business. You are a business owner. You are a 1099 business owner, right? The difference is, is that rather than own, I don't know, a gas station or something where it's just you and the banks that you control, they dictate your day day to day basis. You've got a team of support here that that, that are are financially encouraged to help you succeed. That's that is that is a that is a uh, a, a nugget, right? The reason why you want that financial incentive is because they they benefit from you success your success because most people have busy lives and families and what have you. If they're not if they're not you know there's no financial incentive. They're not you know, you're not going to call them on a Sunday afternoon and ask them about product selection. We do that seven days a week. But anyways, so that's we want we want to again show you both sides of the business. Not just why you should do it, but what you know, um, or how you should do it, but why you should do it, and what it, what's in it for you. So again, uh, the idea of this was to kind of explain to you where we've been for the last year. Uh, yes, we're still alive. We've had we've had we've had, we've been very busy working on our property. We still have probably another year to go on things we want to do here. But and like everybody, we've had family things yeah. that we've had to deal we're with. We're going and... out. Disney World's two hours away, so that's going on. And you know, we don't go to Disney World, but people that come that want to come down and do. We got manatees. We're living the manatee capital of the world. So that's what we're doing. So welcome back to our channel. Um, this is the living the life as a mortgage section and final expense agent. So training, but also lifestyle. I hope you join us. If you haven't uh, already subscribed to us, uh, please do. Hit the bell if you want to get that because we're going to come out with my, my goal is, is to produce one video Angela, every day for 30 days with the exception of the weekends when we take our time off. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be really focused on a little bit of lifestyle but also just a whole process of, 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 of how to succeed in the industry and, and know what those steps look like. So uh, come along for the ride and um, we, uh, we'd love to hear your comments. And um, you So know, hit the bell. Yeah. Subscribe. Thumb up, thumb down, whatever you, whatever you, engagement works. Join the channel. Yeah. And subscribe to the channel. I get all, I get all that stuff confused. That's good. You're really, you're, I know. You're I'm an I excellent influencer. Um, and what do you need to say? What do you need to say? No, Minnie's being tor tormented by the lizards right now. So she we'll let her, we'll let her go. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Look, we're we are excited about being back involved and engaged in YouTube yeah. again, and, and, and in reading your comments. So please uh, leave some comments. Let me know if you're interested in the direction we're going. Um, I guess we'll we'll know things. Uh, much I guess we'll know soon. Won't we? <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Mindy, where are you going? Those lizards. Did you get the lizards? Where are those lizards? Do you want to go? Do where you want to go see? Okay. Look. Oh, whoa! You see them? Is he out? They're there? out there. Are they out there? Where are those Let's lizards? Go see. Oh no. Mom, open that door. Let's go see those lizards. Oh, here we go. It happened a couple times in the car. It was kind of a riot. But what we learned was, like with her, she doesn't have that anticipation of, of like, yeah, of like kind of setting herself a little bit, you know? And so, like, as soon as the car turns, she'd be like, you know.
It's a Thursday. Thursday. This part of my life, this little part, this little part, is called happiness. It's called happiness. On the golden sand, feeling the warmth with a drink in my hand. The ocean waves, the question they roll. Some of us cry and so it's taking its toll. Some of us cry and so living life feeling so cold. In the speed and the spirit rise. Some of us cry and so feeling so alive. The good vibes they take control, control dancing under the starlit sky. Yeah. Some of this guy is all let the love multiply. Yeah. Out in the sun, on the golden sand, feeling the warmth with a drink in my hand. The ocean waves, the question they roll. Some of best crying so it's taking its toll. Some of best crying so living life feeling so full. Living speed and the spirits rise. Some of best crying so feeling so alive. Some of best crying so the good vibes they take control. Dancing under the starlit sky My name is Steve, and this is Angela, and we're making a living 100% virtually, anytime, anywhere, while making a difference, living the dream, while we travel the country, and we can help you do the same. Come along with us. We're grateful you're here. Subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Bye. Bye. -bye.